Let me just uh, briefly uh, uh, go on record and respectfully uh, correct a misstatement by my new friend, uh, Ambassador Yoon. Uh, Rongla was never for sale to anybody, and it cannot be. It's a constitutionally uh, prohibited. Let me, uh, honorable members, share a brief history of the Marshall Islands sacrifice with the United States and the special and unique relationship that we have. World War II, when the Japanese were all over the Pacific, including the Marshall Islands, our scout played a major role in showing where the Japanese were so that the uh, armed forces can capture the region uh, smoothly. Later on in 1946 to 58, uh, the, another war, we were in the middle of it again, without no choice. The Cold War, the former Soviet Union with the United States, Marshall Island was in the middle of it also. This is where the massive display of power, a United States armament power, when the 67 bomb were tested, especially the Bravo shot uh, 15 megaton, it was displayed in the Marshall Island. And we believe that's when the war, Cold War started to recede. Unfortunately, as a result, a lot of cancer, a lot of environmental damages, food contaminated, land contaminated. My parents died, one of lung cancer, metastatic brain tumor from the lung. My father never spoke, but he had the cancer. My mother had a total thyroidectomy removed, and she also died prematurely while I was still in elementary school. And this is another unique story for me. Rest of the Marshall Islands and most family have gone through the same. <clears throat> Let me further state this for a record. Question another one on the Marshall Islands. It's a premier military site. That's another sacrifice, giving our traditional land for military installation. In the event that there's any warhead coming from who knows where, Marshall Island Kwajalein Base will be the first shield of defense before anything could hit Guam, Hawaii, California, Washington DC for that matter. That is in the Marshall Islands. Our armed forces, as stated earlier, highest per capita of enrollment of our young men and women are from the region, including Palau, FSM, and RMI. We are serving and we served in Afghanistan and also in Iraq and continue to serve today, even without the benefit of our returning veterans, uh, as we spoke about earlier. The record in the United Nations, aside from Israel being the first to vote with the United States, please take a look who's second and third most of the time. That's Marshall Islands. This is our commitment. We are here to stay 20 years, do you want 50 years? We'll go for another 50 years. I want to thank my colleague, Ambassador Yoon, for securing a, a MOU with our former chief negotiator and foreign minister. It was a good MOU, but we are here to try to see if we can make it better, to meet the need of our people. Not once, the need of our people in this special and unique relationship. There are several, uh, several uh, uh, Good things in the MOU, the sector grant annually, and then the nuclear museum, climate change, uh, seed money, which is really important. Securing the Marshall Island is securing the United States. You have the Kwajalein in the middle of it all. And I can list several others, but let me get into the, uh, uh, the shenanigans that I get to hear a lot from the State Department and a couple other places, and it was mentioned here today. Full and final settlement, they always say, under the compact section 177. By the way, there is no such word in the compact as final. Only full settlement in Article 10 of the compact, insofar as Article 9, it is just and adequately paid. And when it is not just and adequately paid, it will never be final. Let me continue on <clears throat> with the, uh, the treaty between the two countries. We agree that we have to establish a nuclear claims tribunal, and we did. That the tribunal was supposed to aggregate the claim, and they did. And what was the number they came up with? 3.188 billion. That's not my number. That's neither your number. It is the tribunal's number under the treaty that we agreed that is supposed to be established to address this issue. 
You know, in the President Obama panel uh, report of 2009, cancer panel report, it says that United States Congress must pay the Tribunals Award. And let me further go on. Uh, Special Human Rights Council from the United Nations came to Marshall Island, came out with a report, and I, I think it's important that I quote some of his finding. Quote, the nuclear testing result both immediate and continued effects on the human rights of Marshallese. And he made recommendations such as, guarantee, quote, we have to guarantee right an effective remedy for the Marshallese, including by providing full funding for the nuclear claims tribunal and award adequate compensation of the past, future claims. And he further asked that the United States go on record in apologizing to the Marshall Islands. We're here to get an apology. Let me put some number in perspective, Your Honor. Nevada test site, 6.3 billion curies of iodine 131. Rather, that's the Marshall Islands number. Nevada test site was 150 million curies of iodine 31 exposure. Nevada test site, 1,403 kiloton of explosive yields, Marshall Island, 108,496 ex explosive yields. And the compensation for Nevada test sites, it's close to $4 billion now, as we speak. Marshall Island was $150 million. So lastly, like let, me, let me wrap it up, uh, Your Honor. Lastly, I'd like to also <clears throat> ask that we assist our Marshallese, your fellow citizens that are in the United States, to be eligible to all the federal program that they are eligible or should be eligible to. They're taxpayer, they work, they pay a tax, they're business people, they own their homes, yet when it comes to try to reap the benefit, they're not given the opportunity. So we look forward to actions on this listed item above, and we humbly request that we address these needs today as we are ready to, once we address these needs today, we are ready to sign the compact tomorrow. A compact signed should be a compact that you United States and we, Marshall Island, are happy to sign up to. We are committed, as we have been, and we'll continue to commit ourselves. Thank you.